So if somebody said to you, Professor Harcourt, define capitalism, how would you define it? So uh, the definition of capitalism would be a system, an economic system that depends primarily on private property ownership um, and that puts in place uh, structures of economic organization uh, that uh, respect private property ownership as a mode of production. Uh, that would be how I would define it. Um, in contrast, say, to other economic uh, uh, systems such as socialism where the industry, where an industry may be fully nationalized. Now, of course, those are easy definitions um, and things get much more complicated in reality. Uh, as you know, as a result of the 2008 Great Recession or Depression, however you want to term it, um, we, the United States, actually nationalized, uh, in part, our the biggest banks. So um, pretty soon after 2008, the, the United States, the people of the United States became the greatest shareholders in Citibank and in Bank of America. Now, in most countries, that would be considered nationalization. Um, in the United States, we don't call it nationalization, uh, in part in part because of some of the figments of imagination that are associated with this illusion of the free market. Um, and, 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 that was, and that is a very interesting episode uh, in, in American history. It was, of course, under President Bush, so under a Republican president uh, with a, a, um, a, a Treasury Department that was headed by uh, you know, Hank Paulson, who was uh, one of the you know, leading in in investment bankers of this country, right? under the leading private investment banker of this country, we nationalized our biggest banks. But we didn't, we didn't call it that. Paul Krugman had the, the term that became, I thought, the most um, interesting term. It was pre-privatization. We were pre-privatizing the banks in the sense that the government was coming in and uh, you know, bailing them out buying equity, basically, with the expectation of then allowing them to return to uh, entire private ownership uh, once the you know, financial collapse had, uh, that we'd recovered from the financial collapse. Um, so all of these, so, so I mean, so I like your question because to a certain extent, you know, it, it, really, it really puts the finger, in, it puts one finger in, in some sense on this problem of how exactly we define these systems, right? Could you say that in 2009 when we had nationalized the biggest banks in this country or when it was clear that the only way that, the, that this country could survive was through government bailout, through the, through the fact that the government was prepared to and did nationalize uh, GM uh, and did partially nationalized the biggest banks, that the, that, the, that, the, that the federal government was there to catch this economy as it was kind of collapsing. Would you call that socialism? <laughs>